Today's story comes from Henry's world. It's Henry, and it's his world. And the story is called Tunneling to China. Well, one day, long ago, or not, not, I don't know, whatever. Long ago, there was a boy named Henry. Uh, he was in school. In school. And, and yeah, and they were talking about where, like, things were on the other side of the world. If you stuck, like, a rod through the world, and the other side would be China. China. And you go there, and you, you could go there. And Henry is like... I, could you, could you, how long would it take to, like, build a tunnel to, to China? Could you build a tunnel to China? Could you? And the teacher's like, fuck you! Fuck you! Shut up! They're doing fucking hard! I hate you children! I hate school and education and people and the world and everything in it. And so, yeah. And so shut the fuck up, Henry. Shut the fuck up, Henry. So Henry shuts the fuck up. So Henry goes, goes, he, he goes, starts, tries, he tries to dig a little hole. He's gonna try to dig a little hole to China. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. So he goes inside and his uncle is making methamphetamine. Yeah, so his uncle's making meth and he's gonna sit down to his junky family dinner where his mom serves him horribly overboiled soggy carrots but the carrots do something whenever he eats those horrible horrible carrots his wishes come true do you know why because they're laced with PCB Oh, Jack, you're making that up. He sees a fucking dragon. A dragon just fucking shows up out of nowhere. Before the carrots, there weren't no fucking dragon. After the carrots, full of PCP, dragon. <laughs> he says, I wish I had a thing to dig there. And he sees some construction equipment. Out in the distance, he goes, he steals it. That's not granting a wish, that's just you stealing something you see. You're on the drugs, Henry. You're tripping balls, you gotta come down with us. You gotta, you gotta settle down, Henry. And Henry's like, oh, I'm taking this thing to fucking China. <laughs> so he taught drilling down. No oxygen or support beams. And it gets crushed nearly immediately under 400 tons of rock. He's pinned down in his death trap. No oxygen. He starts to suffocate. And they hallucinate. The brain starts to shut down. Time has no meaning. It could seem like years to you. Just a blink of an eye. He sees all wonders of crazy creatures. His mind starts to go. And then he starts to feel pain. And he sees himself being boiled alive. Him and his friends boiling alive. And his brain finally shuts down. And the chaos turns to blackness. His junky uncle, he wanders by. He's fucking cracked out of his mind. He stares down at his hole and sees the mangled, twitching bodies of his nephew. He can't take it no more. He can't take this life, this world, this meaningless existence. And he hangs himself. He hangs himself above their corpses. And they all dance and play in hell with all the aborted crack babies. The end. They all dance in hell with the aborted crack babies. Well, that's the that's the great of ending as I could ever think of for anything. Everything should end with they <laughs> danced in hell with the aborted crack babies.
Just, just make every piece of media in that way. Every, every Broadway play, every, oh, uh, oh. Jack, these are, these are the kind of things that are only amusing to you and make you seem weird to people. I don't care. Fuck you. Anyway, thank you for joining us. What did we learn today? I forgot to tell you what we learned today. Don't give your babies crack. Might seem like a good idea, but no. No. No baby crap. Okay? No. Ah, now, thank you for joining us, and I will... Uh, I'll see you next time, I suppose, I guess. That'll be great. Wouldn't it great? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Thanks. You can't just keep leaving like this. Just watch me.